All right, in the last video, we talked about a perpetuity, which we found out is just a never ending stream of constant cash flows. That is, you get an amount C in year one, you get the same amount C in year two, and you get the same amount C in year three, and this will go on forever. Now, growing perpetuities, well, of course, a perpetuity, meaning you get never ending cash flows every period. But this amount that you get in this case will also grow over time. That is, they are not constant in this case, unlike our perpetuities or our normal perpetuities. So, in a growing perpetuity, you'll get an amount C in year one, and year two, this will grow by, let's say, let's assume a factor of G percent. So, in your year two, you'll end up getting something like C into one plus G, where G is the growth rate per period of the perpetuity. Let me just quickly write that down growth rate per period. And in year three, you'll get G percent on top of what you have in year two. So you're gonna get C into one plus G to the power two. And this will go on forever. So that is a growing perpetuity, a perpetuity where the cash flows grow at a rate G percent every period. Uh, let us now write down its present value. We'll first discount it like we have been doing in our last few videos. For year one, we are going to get C divided by one plus R, which is the discount rate. Raised to the power number of periods, R for year one is just one. For year two, we are going to get C into one plus G this time, divided by one plus R squared. Similarly, for year three, we'll have C into one plus G whole squared, divided by one plus R cubed. Plus, and this will keep going on. Now, if you can notice that C is common in all of these terms, so we can just take that out. So within brackets, we'll have 1 plus R plus 1 plus G, 1 plus R squared plus 1 plus G whole squared divided by 1 plus R to the power 3, and this will go on. Now, this geometric progression within brackets simplifies to 1 by r minus g. So the present value becomes c into 1 by r minus g. I'm leaving the derivation out in this video because I don't want to make it more mathy than it already is. Again, I'll make a separate video about deriving this in case you don't want to accept this answer just like that. Let's write that down separately. The present value for growing perpetuity is capital C divided by R minus G, where R is the discount rate and G is the growth rate per period. There are a couple of things you need to keep in mind about this formula. Number one, the C is the cash flow that you're getting after one period, not in day zero. Always keep that in mind. If you're getting a cash flow in period zero, don't use that, don't mix it up with this formula. Let me just write it down. at date one and number two the discount rate r always has to be greater than g know that in this formula if both of them are equal then your denominator will be zero and this value will be undefined which obviously doesn't make sense and it seems like if g is actually greater than r then the present value will be negative which is obviously impossible so all you need to know is that the technique that we are using to sum up this geometric series requires r to be greater than g otherwise we cannot use this present value formula at all in summary a growing perpetuity is just like any other perpetuity but it grows over time and this is the formula you can use to calculate its present value hope you got it on that see you in the next one